hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel well let's get right into it um today i'm just sharing my process on how i design my pax wardrobe no i have not actually bought it yet but i did want to share this because i was having some difficulty um, navigating the site on my own so i thought this would be helpful for someone else who maybe in the process of getting your system so at the top of the ikea side you're going to hit the button that says rooms and then you're going to scroll down to where you see the wardrobe system so this part so you're going to click on that and then you're going to search the side select the wardrobes that looks similar to what you're trying to create and i did the walk-in closets and then you're going to look for the ikea packs wardrobe so i selected the one that is similar to what i was kind of going for this was obviously too big for my space but i went ahead and selected anyway and then you go to the pack planner and you customize your closet so you're first gonna put your measurements in this is very important make sure you put your measurements in otherwise you may get a system that may be too big for your room or not enough for your room so make sure you do your measurements and you put them in accordingly you can use a toggle or you can plug them in directly so after you figured out your measurements you're going to go to the fun part we're going to go to frames and i started with a corner piece because that's what i want for my room and i started to add the interior parts to it and then later realized i should just put all the frames in first and then do the interior part after which is what i did so the frames I decided to go with are specific to my needs and what I need for my system so I went for uh, the medium size the largest uh, frame size and then the smallest frame size um, I noticed I had to move uh, the frames down so that I can fit the smaller piece on the end and that was that um, all you have to do um, is just click on the item and it will populate in onto the design area. And then once I've done that, I went frame by frame to include the interior pieces that I would need for my space. All right, so for each section, you have to select the frame that you're working on to include those interior pieces. So that's what I did here. And I went, I selected a frame that, you know, it says ready interior, and then you can customize it accordingly. To me, that was fine. And then I moved on to the next frame. All right, guys, so I'm starting now as opposed to later just so I can stay on budget. I wanted to create or design the closet now so that I can see how much it's gonna cost so I can prepare, I can save, I can budget, I can do what I need to do um, before actually pulling the trigger on the site. And this way I know exactly how I want the system to look in the room. So this makes it really easy when it's time to like, you know, assemble it. So in the corner part of the pack system uh, the goal is to put like my dresses you know my long coats cardigans that type of stuff in there I don't have a lot of dresses so that should be enough space for me and then on the outer part of that corner um, piece I'm gonna put like my fragrances all the easy to reach items on that uh, shelving part and then the medium size frame 
I plan and put in like my blazers at the top and then at the bottom I'm going to put my jeans and slacks and those type of pieces on the bottom and if I need to I put like my sandals and whatnot on the very bottom of the shelf. The larger part, the goal is to put like all my flowy tops, dress tops, shirts, that type of thing. And then in the drawers and the pullout trays, of course, it'll be like my jewelry, um, sunglasses, belts, and and the frame on the very end. Uh, the goal is to put like all my bags and I don't have a lot of bags, but the goal is to put my bags there and then I'm adding more drawers on the side just for extra storage in the event that I need to like store like random stuff in there. Won't be, it won't be random, like maybe like shirts, I uh, have a lot of sweatsuits so they would need a place to go there or like my small little nip tops. And then at the very top part of the shelving, um, I plan on putting my hats there because I do have a lot of hats and they need a home. <laughs> so this is basically uh, what the plan is for my pack system. And um, I think it turned out really, really good. I'm happy with uh, my design. Okay guys, so this is the completed design. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, but since I'm not going to purchase it right away, I plan on coming back to this later on. Um, I'm happy that Ikea has the option for you to save your design. So you could either have it emailed, text, or you can use their QR code system, which is really, really cool. So I'm happy I can come back to this and not have to do my design over. <laughs> And finally, guys, this is how the design looks with props. Absolutely love the way it turned out. This is exactly how I will be um, inputting my pieces into the system. But if you found this video helpful, um, definitely subscribe, like, comment, share, do all the good things because I would love to have you guys back. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. All right. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.